Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for discrete random variable. Kali refers to the questions, the following table lists a certain value of the x, which is the random variable, and there are probabilities. So here we have the table. A shows that x is a discrete random variable. So how to show whether the situation is a discrete random variable or not? First, it must be fulfilled the situation where we have summation for the probability is equals to 1. So by referring to the situation, here we have the summation for the probability, which is equals to 0 0.2 plus with 0 0.25 plus 0 0.4 plus with 0 0.1 and finally we have 0 0.05. So with the help from the calculator, and we add on the situation, and it is equals to 1. So the summation for the probability for the random variable is equals to 1. So it is a discrete random variable. B. Find the situation. So Kali refers to 1. Where we have the situation, probability that x is greater or equals to 1 and less than or equals to 3. So by referring to the table, where the 1 and 3 is included, so meaning that the probability of x greater or equals to 1 and less than or equals to 3, it involves the probability that x is equals to 1 plus the probability that x equals to 2 and probabilities that x is equals to 3. Substitute the situation where we have 0 0.2 plus with 0 0.25 plus with 0 0.4. So finally, the probability that x is greater or equals to 1 and less than or equals to 3 is equals to 0 0.85. So number 2, where we have the probability that x is greater than 2. So do remember, it is a discrete random variable. So what we have to do is to modify the situation. So it will become probabilities that x is greater or equals to 3. By referring to the table, it is equals to probability that x is equals to 3 plus with the probability that x equals to 4 and the probability that x is equals to 5. Kindly substitute the value where we have 0 0.4 plus with 0 0.1 plus with 0 0.05. So the probability that x greater than 2 is equals to 0 0.55. Next, question number 3 where we have the probability that x is in between 2 and 5. What we have to do is to modify the situation. So the probability is that x is in between 2 and 5. So kindly modify the situation. So where we have the probability is that x is greater or equals to 3 and less than or equals to 4 because it is a discrete random variable and the sign is very important. So, probability that x is equals to 3 plus with the situation x is equals to 4. Kindly substitute the value where we will have 0 0.4 plus with 0 0.1. So, finally, the probability that x is in between 2 and 5 is equals to 0 0.5. Next, number 4, where we have the mode. What does it mean by the mode? So the mode refers to highest probability. So what we have to do is to refer the probability. So based on the table, the highest probabilities would be the 0 0.4. So means that we have the random variable x is equals to 3 or the mode is equals to 3. Number 5, where we have to discuss the median. So by referring to the definition, where we have the median is equals to 0 0.5. So means that what we have to do is to check where is the location for the 0 0.5. So here we must refer to the cumulative probability equals to 0 0.5. What we have to do is to refer to the cumulative probability for the situation. So in here, where we have the cumulative probability, which is 0 0.2. Next, followed by 0 0.45 because we add on the 1 and the 2. Next, followed by 0 0.85, 
Next, 0 0.95. So finally, we have 1. This is what we call the cumulative probability distribution. So where is the location of 0 0.5? So when we're referring to the table, kindly refers to F2. So by referring to F2, where we have the cumulative probability, which is stopped at 0 0.45. So, next, what we have to do is to refer to the 3. Where is the location of 0 0.5? So, very obvious. The 0 0.5 is located at x equals to 3. So, what is the median? So, the median is equals to 3. So, here we are. And thanks for watching.